So for the first time ever, two people have received transfusions of lab-grown blood. This was part of a clinical trial called Restore, where researchers took regular donated blood, then used magnetic beads to isolate and retrieve stem cells, which were then put into a protein mixture to cause the stem cells to differentiate into red blood cells. And this part of the process only took around three weeks to turn 500,000 stem cells into 15 billion viable red blood cells. So then they filtered the blood to remove white blood cells, and then tagged it with a radioactive dye to track how long the transfusion lasts in the body. Now most donated blood is actually a mixture of new and old blood cells which typically last in your body around 120 days. But since the synthetic blood is from stem cells, that means it's all new, so the goal is that it stays in the body longer. Now the blood transfusion was only about 8 millimeters of blood, which is really pretty small, but this is the first time it's ever been created from donated blood instead of the patient's own blood. So in the future, hopefully this can be used to create large quantities of rare blood and eventually become cheaper than donated blood.